a lot of things have really changed in my life and i think the one that i appreciate the most is the fact that i'm a lot more patient than before because this is a big deal for me like because everybody even in my family they know me they know that that is a problem and me crying and explaining myself i wish i can take this back because man who are these people is it the same people that are oppressed now oh my god oh my god <laughs> Mm. hello guys we are back again with another video and in this video i want to testify so please like this video because if it was to be in your church you would have been saying your pastor is amazing so please like this video because my god is amazing but first welcome back to another youtube video but if you are new here hi my name is lillian and please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a video you will get notified and please do not forget to like this video we are here today rocking that life living my best life <laughs> so you guys uh story time how i came to ghana and how my life have changed ghana have changed me in many ways and i want to share some of the things i can remember with you guys in this video so let's go straight what happened is more than a year ago i left my country and i left my family i left my hometown of ogoja in cross river at the southern part of nigeria and i made my way to lagos nigeria i bought a ticket bus ticket and i made my way to accra ghana by the time i got to accra i had only 50 us dollars of me in my head i thought i was rich and i was going to use it to make a video so that people can see that i came to ghana with money nobody would tell me you came broke in my head i thought that 50 dollars was going to make people think i'm a big girl okay so what i did is the following day i went on to change the money but the very first day i announced my arrival in this beautiful country filled with goods and diamond my youtube channel just started picking up and i got many people following me encouraging me staying tuned to my channel and hoping the best for me just like so many people wishes me not long after that my youtube channel was able to vomit me some money <laughs> that i have not seen again since that time it's as if the universe just gathered that money gave me once and come on hand all the same i'm grateful for it so after that i was able to rent an apartment and i went back to nigeria pick up my kids and we are here living our best lives and i can't complain the truth is when i first got to ghana i was a very angry person kofi my friend can attest to this because kofi would tell me ah lillian calm down i would tell him don't tell me to calm down you telling me to calm down is even a problem so the best thing is don't tell me anything and kofi did not know so kofi would tell me lillian calm down it's not that bad i would tell him i'm in a hurry i'm this you know so I was a very angry person. I was always frowning my face like someone hurts me when nobody did. It's not like I had a fight with someone, but I was just on my own. I was no I was angry. People that know me knows. Number two is that I was always in a hurry. I just want to keep going and get going. And if you try to waste my time, you are looking for my trouble. I was always in a hurry. Uh, those that knows me then can attest to the fact that i was always in a hurry my name used to be lillian born great impatient thank you very much i accept it <laughs> even though it's my past right i was always in a hurry to do the next available thing to be done i was always in a hurry to get things done i did not even put my health into consideration i just wanted to get going no matter what is ahead of me i didn't care i just want to go this has really changed i won't lie another thing that has really changed is yeah it goes back to the first i was always muddy i was always unhappy nobody beats me nobody fights with me money was not really the issue why i was unhappy but i was not a happy person what is your reason i don't know but yeah that was my life the impatient parts that one has changed so much that now you can call me madam lillian patient a patient woman 
Uh -huh. You tell me, wait there. I'm coming. I will be there. Don't worry. Go and come. You will meet me here. I have changed so much. When I order for a ride now, I am the one that is sitting down and even telling the Uber man to come down. Before now, if I order a ride and it does not arrive at the time, it's either I'm going to call the man to ask him something that will provoke him to cancel the ride or I'll cancel it to punish him and order another one a lot of things have really changed i don't know if it has to do with age or change of environment your girl is really aging right in front of you even though you don't realize it i am aging i don't know if it's age or my environment that have changed me a lot of my Ghanaians brothers and sisters who say it's environment no problem you win thank you mm? thank you uh, I don't want to go back to Nigeria to see, to experiment and see if it's environment. Thank you very much. So you win. But right now I'm patient and I'm grateful. Right now I'm a lot happier. I don't know. I think it has to do with the light in Ghana. Uh, the fact that you get electricity. If not for anything, you put on your fan. If not for anything, you watch a television or you have your phone charged. You know, it reduces a lot of, of things in your head. So you see this electricity we are looking at. We are taking for granted it brings a lot of happiness another thing notable change that i have noticed is the fact that when i enter a church row hmm, i'll give the guy my money maybe 20 cities or 10 cities or 50 cities or even 100 depending on where i'm going when i pay that money i will not be in a hurry to collect my change like before before immediately i give him the money the next thing is, mate, give me my change. Give me my change. And I will say that until this guy will frustrate and give me my change. But right now, I no longer do that. I just give him his money and wait for him to give me my change. Because why? Of course, because he will give it to me. Me, I don't have to fight to get it. So this one has really changed. Seriously, joke apart, a lot of things have really changed. My perception about life, now a bit laid back and trying to enjoy some moments instead of thinking of the next available thing to do and i'll think of <laughs> the next available small enjoyment to do to get it because i didn't come to this life to always think 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 and you know walk 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 i come to this life to walk chill and walk again and so many things have changed seriously a lot have changed and then trust is i used to have trust issue my trust issue was so big that when you say good morning i like to go back to my clock and check to see if you're saying the right thing or not like i had terrible this thing with trust issues and it played a role in my inability to keep my relationships because i just don't know how to just believe you when you say something and it could turn out to be true since i gave up that attitude since i started living here a lot has changed even though i do, please i do not have a love life oh. so if you are my potential lover you're seeing this video don't go and say oh she have find another guy i have not to oh, wait and until I'm, I'm married right until i'm married i'm single and all like before where i'm so impatient now i'm a lot patient i have learned a lot for me personally humility was not something i struggled with when i came to ghana I did not struggle at all to be humble because already I come from the part where you had no choice to be humble but to be humble so that aspect of me I didn't struggle to blend like just change attitude to see so a lot of things have really changed in my life and I think the one that I appreciate the most is the fact that I'm a lot more patient than before because this is a big deal for me like because everybody even in my family they know me they know that that is a problem and I, at some point in my life i was like yeah that is what i am deal with it i'm taking it like that deal with it or walk away but now my sisters and my brothers a lot has changed one more thing that have you know changed now what has changed in my life is i'm no longer afraid of being a broke person a broke woman maybe now or in future i'm no longer afraid before now it used to be something that i was always you know 
afraid of. I'll be like, hey, God, oh, what if I wake up tomorrow? I don't have food to give my children. How am I going to do it? They are going to laugh at me. People will laugh at me. I have failed. I have done this. I'm always thinking about what people are thinking about me. And I remember explaining myself on here and even crying. I used to cry because I want people to believe me, gong gong. And I did not like bad comments. I did not like bad comments. When I see the bad comments, I'll pin it. Yeah, I'll pin the bad comments so that other people, other people can see it and then sympathize with me or fight for me or something. What was I thinking? I think I was looking for justification so that when I fight back, you may not say, hey, why are you always fighting? Because I believe you should see the comments. I didn't like bad comments on YouTube, but now I'm praying for them. Not just bad comments. These days, I am praying for bad reaction videos about me. I want to trend. Seriously, I want to trend these days. <laughs> Especially for the reasons we know. Uh, she's not loving our country. Yeah, I want to trend. Before now, I did not like it. I want you to believe that I'm an amazing person. So why don't you like me? When you do not like me, I will be bothered. I will ask myself, yeah, why? Because I'm, a, I'm, I'm amazing. I mean, like, why? <laughs> just want people to believe me and if i have to cry to prove it i don't mind i didn't mind i was doing it remember there was a time this a chimpanzee this cameroonian chimpanzee was looking for money to wed his elderly wife that he has at home now that was the time he was desperate on youtube here and i was his target because i was trending at that time and this guy was coming for me and I was crying and explaining myself. I found myself explaining every in every of my video. When Ajim said I have run away to Nigeria because then dollar just rose from seven Ghana cities to 15 Ghana cities. So Ajim made videos telling his mushroom millipedes people watching his videos, telling them that I have run to Nigeria and them coming to my page to say to laugh at me and me crying and explaining myself i wish i can take this back because man who are these people is it the same people that are oppressed now oh my god oh my god <laughs> mm -hmm. i wish it's now i wish it's now i would have been happy well it's part of the growth right so before now i didn't like anything negative i didn't like any form of negativity because i believe i'm a, i'm an amazing person so everyone should see that uh -huh. even if you don't have sense you should have sense to you should you should know that i'm an amazing person this has really changed about me right now where i see when i see where they are talking about me charlie i love it Eh? I love it. What are you talking good of me? When you are talking good of me, Seth, it's, it's, it's boring me. I like it hard. So that it's also part of the content. And these are the things I didn't know. And I wish I knew them. But I'm glad I know now. <laughs> All right. So these are some of the things that things have really changed in my life since I started living in Ghana. I'm just less than two years. By the time I get to two years, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but we are on the lookout for that. All right. And I hope that you did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. But if there is any changes, if there are changes you have noticed in my life that I didn't state in this video, don't forget to comment down below. Comment them down below and I will refute or agree. I will reject or accept <laughs> Uh, comment down below in the comment section and thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye